Late is a state of mind. I feel late. Okay, well, change your state of mind then. No. It's all an illusion. It's not an illusion. Again, but uh, this time, uh, let's go full psycho. I think it's an illusion. What'd you make? Oh, yeah. You do that every day. It's very right, too. <laughs> Cute. Um, what's country right now? His name's Chris Lane. Oh, I like him. Fix me. Yeah, they're like some very funny. Um, but I guess she like made this long post yesterday about how he played this song in their like sound check or whatever of a concert that he was doing, which is the first time they said like I love you or whatever. And then um, it was like she, when she gave birth to their son, it was like on like Tommy. <laughs> I get all, I always get nervous. I know, you get so nervous. <laughs> um, does God speak to you? Yeah. What's it like? Uh, well, I was not expecting this question. This is a serious question. It is a serious question. Um, I don't know. It's just like, sometimes you can tell it's very direct. And sometimes you just know in your gut. That's for me. Cool. Yeah. Thanks. That, that was thanks. not a good answer. No, it was a good answer. It was ah, honest. You had a know. good answer because I of your stupid. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> bye bye. Hello. Oh, guys, are you going to that thing? Um, are you doing the optional lift? In what? Let me put a 35 so I look better. Oh, yeah, yeah, give a 35. Yeah, you can. Um, I'm doing the option oh, with you. Go. I like this one. I was thinking Thank about you. The socks though, I would pass. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I just not like my socks, but I don't care at all. But is that the Paige's shoes or no? The what? Paige shoes? No, these are my friend Tarek's shoes. He started a company and they have this, remember? Have you worn them? They're like... No. Oh, they're so cool. They look higher, taller. They are. I am higher and taller. Are you 5'7 on the end of Taller than you now. No, I'm 5'10, baby. 5'10. But I'm gonna figure it out. What are you guys doing? This lift stretching. Sabs. Tell us your stretching routine. My stretching routine? Uh huh. Why? Because in the last video, a few seconds ago, you were doing your stretching and everyone else was doing lifting outdoors. Can you please tell us a little bit about your routine? It doesn't have to be every detail. Wait, so Wait what's stretching? I don't know. You said you were stretching one day while everyone was lifting instead of lifting. You were, were you hanging on the... Uh, no, it wasn't that. It was uh, way long ago. I don't remember. Do you stretch? <laughs> I stretch. Okay, what are the stretches you do? Uh, <laughs> I know, I love you. Okay, what are the stretches? Um, okay, sumo into lunge into hip flexor arm over pull the leg back hamstring then pigeon okay then go up sumo stretch other side same thing other side then do some calves and some quads some inversions nice and That's then it. what about how long do you hold each stretch for until you feel it or what's the yeah until it feels good cool what's the average like 10 seconds to a minute no yeah like 30 seconds probably Cool. Thank you. No problem. Mm. That's supposed to be doing? Literally um, just stretching. They're doing a lift. Yeah. Look at the food you had. It looks so good. So what good, you, right? The food, the, uh, where you went with Naho. Oh, it's, uh... What is it called? Toriyaki. That, to, to, tor -yaki. that it's some, looks like, so good. Yeah, it's some Yakuniku place. Is it Wait, what is, is Yakuniku like? It's basically a Korean barbecue, but Korean barbecue is based in pork, and then this is the Japanese version, but it's based in beef, so it's way better. Beef. Okay, okay. It was in the city. We yeah. drove in there. It was, it was so good. Dude, yeah, we should. Well, I don't know if we should all go. It's like too, that'd be too many people, but like, yeah. People what? should go in groups before. <laughs> How was the egg? The egg and raw meat. It was actually good, but it's also a very expensive place, I, so you can eat raw meat, you know? My favorite, like problem is, like, I don't like cooking for myself. Oh, yeah. So, like, 
I feel like your experience depends on how well you cook it. You could burn your food. See, not who cooked everything. She said, I'm cooking, you are not. Okay. I said, okay. See, that's, going with her was probably perfect. That was probably I mean, I wouldn't go better. unless I was going with her. I don't know. They speak Japanese. They recognize her when you walk in. She's famous. And I'm like, yeah. great. Wow. See, cool. Yeah. That's, that's a cool experience. You got the whole experience. That's, that's what I'm about, guys. Having fun living life to the fullest. All those experiences. <laughs> Naho, can you please tell us about Yakuniku? Oh. Yakiniku? Yeah, help people understand in America what yakiniku okay, is. Okay, yakiniku is like a Japanese barbecue style. Yeah, Japanese and, barbecue style? Yeah, and it's like a grill. A grill? And thin. Thin. thin beef? Thin beef, yeah. Oh. Why is it so good? Because <laughs> it's high quality? Yeah, it's high quality beef. Great. Thank you, Naho. You're welcome. We should go. We should go. Let's but, go again. Yeah, but we have no time, right? I, when do you leave? I hope uh, Thursday. Really? Yeah. Tom's party's Friday night. Yeah, I know. Friday, Earth, no, no, Thursday. Thursday so leave Friday. I'm leaving Friday so I can go no, to Tom's no, no. party. No, I can't. No. You Jewish, have to leave Thursday? Jewish, Jewish said Friday is so expensive. Oh. So. No. I, and I don't want to push back, push back because I have to stay home two you weeks. You have to quarantine? Yes. Japan, man. Can you believe it? Nande two nande. weeks. Nande nande. Testing, negative. And go to Japan, testing, negative. But still, two weeks. Talk to the princess. <laughs> okay. Call princess <laughs> and say, I want hey, you to change the rules. <laughs> Wait, also, what if we go Tuesday night? Tomorrow night. Maybe? Yeah. Maybe. Look. Search for me. Ev, there's 35s for you. Go get a 35. Show off. Show I us what you... I will show you how to do car training. All right. Talk to us. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bad beginning. So they're always like that. Read out. Those are so hard for me. Wow, that's actually... Can you just stop Bye. it and rewind it for a time or six so I look good for six times? Okay. Or you could just be better. <laughs> it's pretty decent, no? That's two reps. How many are you doing? Really wow. Shit. Sabs My is really giving you big ups. My arms are like cracked. <laughs> three more. Three more. You got it? Not two more. All right. Two more. Oh, look at that. Yes, Evelyn. Last one. Here you go. Here you go. Oh, we got the wink too. Look at us. Got it, got it. So, number, are you lifting? Yes. Foam roll. Foam roll. Yes. So, no lift. No lift. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't confuse the people. The people need to know. So, Dom, when you foam roll, what muscles do you foam roll? Quad. Quad. Hamstring. Hamstring. Calf. Calf. Arm. Arm. Head. Head, neck, neck, my body, her body. <laughs> yes, body. Thank you, Sarah. Yes. What is this, Allie? Changing my purses and my bags over like, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Double gun action, psychopath. Get paid to give weight yeah. to the cheap like, break thought. It's like a lot where like I'll get it from an outside back in this way and I'll pick my head up and want She's it. The ball. Um, He's so sweet. Ali adjusted. She is my little grasshopper. I'm not a grasshopper. <laughs> I am not a grasshopper. <laughs> it means you're like learning underneath somebody. Well, you are. Oh, she is a grasshopper. She's a... Why don't you like being called a grasshopper? I am so <laughs> above grasshopper status. So it's offensive if I am basically like dim down to like a little grasshopper that I don't even know what they eat or like that's what you have for me. Thank you. I'm not a grasshopper. What are you then? I'm a <laughs> cheetah. <laughs> Can you show your vlog like, to say anything to her? Baby 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 baby. Watch it. She's ready to kiss boys. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> my lips are still blistering from when I was in Catalina seven oh, days yeah. ago. And it hurts to see Because you just... kissed a boy in Catalina? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Coast is whack, Kenny. Why did you say that? Because East Coast, East Coast is lame. West Coast is better. Oh, so, oh my gosh. Are you ready to see? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, first question. Why is the West Coast the best coast? Are we even gonna have this conversation? <laughs> Kenny thinks it's important. Um, I think everyone knows that West Coast is the best coast um, for multiple reasons. I don't need to waste my time for this. Great, thank you. Dogs in the outdoor. You're moving up in the world. Wow, how are you? What are you doing, Instagramming? Like no, I'm texting. Um, yeah, I'm texting. You're catching up, doing your administrative work. Huh? You're doing administration for your life. Oh, really? Yep. It's so much work. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. It's like a reflection of New York, New Jersey in the water. But when you shake your butt like that, it's not clear. <laughs> Big booty all around the world. You know what's good is like a spa. So I would like to put some bird music. Oh, yes, make it a spa. Baby vlog, his shoes are made out of trash. Wait, what? Can you tell me about it? Uh, are you recording me right now? Uh, yeah, I am. You freaked me out a little bit. I'm sorry. Uh, so yeah, they're definitely uh, some Nikes. They're Nikes? Uh, yeah, they're Nikes. They're and they, they they're use recyclable trash, like plastic, anything they find in I'm the here for that. Right? <laughs> yeah, right? The space hippies, you know, just try them the out. The space hippies, that's the space it. space hippies. <laughs> I like it. And now, let's go home. Yay! Bye! What's wrong with her? She's leaving me. Bye, Ify. Yeah. Stop! Yeah. Stop! Yeah. I'm gonna get hurt. Seriously. I actually got mad at you. My back's cramping now. I'm so oh. sorry. No, you're not. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm getting a back cramp. Oh, okay. When the TV show makes you close your eyes and cringe, why do they put themselves through this? I can never tell. It's not actually it's gonna intense. happen. There's no way. Oh! No, oh, no. no. Wow. No, there's gotta be some savior. She dead? No. All right, girls, please put your telephones down. Yes, mom. That's me. Please answer. Why do you continually put yourself through torturous graphic television shows? <laughs> you answer. Yesterday she asked me, what do you pick, The Bachelor in Paradise or Handmaid's Tale? And I said Handmaid's Tale, 10 times out of 10 times. Yes. Torturous it's and graphic. It's not like we like the torture. It's just like well like developed characters just well written like we don't support the nasty stuff that goes on but we support like the good storyline like the thought process like i just feel for the characters and then i'm bought in right we're here for the storytelling yes so you not look for the, the gore you look the other way when 90 percent of the show is torture correct yeah but it you know the torture and the shows which it just like really makes the good moments the mountaintop moments even more special yes and I know you feel Rewarded. the same way. Even yeah, though so the person behind say, the camera still poison. watches with it's us. It's poison. It's and then poison. she's like, guys, let's watch so it. Good. <laughs> so good. So good. So good. It's so slow, but so good. The, the, the show is slow, but can we watch it? Can, can we watch it all day? <laughs> yes. That's our reasoning. Thank you. So it seems that our reason is mostly we watch it because you want to watch it. Yeah. Because you ask us to watch all right, it. All right, cross the line. You cross the line. That's you not ask true. us to watch it so we put ourselves for the that. For the truth of the matter is I end up watching it because I need to do my editing for baby vlogs and I'm just sitting there and then it's, it's on and then I do enjoy it. But a lot of the time... It's not true. Most of the time she puts her phone down to watch the show. Most of the time <laughs> it's an exaggeration. Some of the time because it is very good storytelling but I really, 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 really do not like the torture. It's Nobody likes the torture. But I think it normalizes it for people. It. Nobody likes the torture. Everybody thinks it's wrong. Nobody in watches Handmaid's Tale to watch them. I just tortured. feel that it normalizes torture and I don't like that. Yeah, maybe desensitizes you to it a little bit. I can agree with that. Thank you. <laughs> that is all I have for you guys. <laughs> right. Goodbye. Thanks. Goodbye. All right, lunch we got. Four eggs, roasted potatoes, avocados, and kale. Get in my belly. Let's go, baby. I'm gonna go do lots of reps 
lots and lots of reps and give it our tar. And I'm so happy. Let's go, baby. Look who's here. What's up, dude? What's up, baby vlog queen? Baby vlogs always. Yes, ma'am. Are you just doing some maintenance here? Yeah, cleaning the water. Wow. What a great gym owner you are. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> How's everything going? Kind of like we're trying to get the kid to continue playing, but he doesn't want to play anymore. You know what I mean? He's so and he probably he's probably over it because his brother's better than him, right? And that's like, really hard with siblings. We talk to the parents, we talk to the to the brother, like, hey, like you should bring him, get him to come here, like, can you tell me. And what do they say? And he just doesn't. He says he doesn't know what's going on with his brother. He says he doesn't know. How old are they? Ten, though, right? Yeah. No, I, think they, I mean, two thousand nine. They're all turning twelve. So, but they Some think of them, they should be twelve. Their know. emotional capacity and processing ability is probably this pretty kid, low. This kid's confidence has always been low, and then he didn't play on Friday. So and he's like distraught. Yeah, it was a state cup game on Friday, and it was winner go home. And you know, maybe it's our fault as coaches. No, we're not playing him. No, but... no, it's like harsh reality. I think kids at young, 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 like at five years old, should be like you should earn your spot, right? Yeah, and if you're bad, you can choose to quit or you can choose to work harder. And the thing is, those he's are your not choices. Bad. He's not bad. If he continues coming, maybe in a month from now, he'll earn a start. That's the spot. thing. If time... He'll earn 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I need to hear that. <laughs> Everybody needs to hear that. Exactly. If you work and harder it's... and you become better, you You'll... will get, you will get a play work. or start or exactly. whatever. But you have to give it time. You can't give up, though. And you have to persevere. Oh, and man. That's, that's why we're trying to get him to come back because I don't want him to give up. That lesson is you can, you'll never learn that lesson enough. And his parents, like, I feel, we talk to the mom and the dad, and they're kind of like, oh, like, we don't want to push him. Like, we want to make him, we want to allow him to make his own decision. I'm like, oh, I agree. Like, it's great, but, you know, let's push there's him like to come There's, like, a back. line. Yeah, there's, like, a line of, like, do whatever you want, be free, whatever you feel. And then, like, and if it's like, hard, push through. Up, yeah. Like, are you doing whatever you want because you're escaping from something hard? Or are you doing whatever you want because you actually want to do something different? That's, I think, the thing that only a person can tell themselves. But it'd they're 12. Thing, it'd be one thing if the kid wasn't good. But he's good. Yeah, he if he was, like, good. trash. He's not trash. That's the thing. Like, if he was trash, he wouldn't be on the team. Yeah, the no, because you guys have a really good is. team. What do you do if you're really dejected about your sport and you kind of want to quit? Well, if you're kind of feeling like you want to quit your sport, I think what's really important is you answer this one question and you answer it honestly. And the question is, do I still enjoy playing? And if the answer is yes at all, actually playing the sport, then don't quit. Find what it is specifically that's making you quit. Go a little bit deeper, solve for that, and then keep growing, keep progressing, keep breaking down your game, your mentality, your approach, and get a little bit better every day and just get lost in the process of that instead of, am I playing? Am I not playing? Is my teammate mean or nice or happy or sad? Or all those other things focus on like what you can control, which is your game perfecting your craft. So get locked into that, get lost in that. And if you do that, you probably won't want to quit. So make sure you go a little bit deeper and focus on how you can get better as an individual to add value to the group. Or if it's an individual sport, add value to your craft in your game. Okay. Okay, what are you doing today? Do you know Kingsley Coleman? Nope. Kingsley Coleman is French. He plays for Bayern Munich. Sick. Okay. I think he's actually won a league title every single year of his career since he's came into professional football. Oh, how is he young? He's like, I want to say he's like mid-20s. Oh, so he like six or seven years. From Juve to PSG to Bayern. And these are all like champions. Of the wow. What position like, is he playing? He's a winger. Is he starting? He's like inconsistently starting. Okay. Because he's also, he's a, he's a speedy winger. Okay. And when he's on it, he's on it. When he's not, he doesn't really offer much. I understand. But when he's on it, he's like Nasty. Quick. I like that. Quick. Um, okay, so this move is inspired by him. I love it. Okay. You're going to play here. Ready? Ooh. Oh, sick. Great. All right, what's next? Sunny. Young Min Sun, right? Oh, yeah, I love Sun. Sun, Sun, Sun. So it's just going to be a simple um, a play from here. Okay. Actually. Going to crease his back foot. Perfect. So basically, back foot. You're gonna take the shot, push, and shoot. Is my recept receiving touch leading myself? All right. What's next? Okay. Ball's gonna be here. Okay. This is a shot I see pros get routinely wrong, and there's this one guy who plays for Benfica named Darwin Nunez, okay. who actually messed this up 
<laughs> and it's just simple. The ball is coming across, and you have to be able to, with your eyes, track the ball and time your finish, right? Okay. And where a lot of people mess up is the ball either hits the back of their foot or either the front rather than the middle. Okay. Can Let's you do demo it? Yeah. <laughs> where am I passing to, like, the corner of the... Like, right in front of the right. Are you using your right foot? Yeah. Okay. So right on my hips, right. Oh. Yeah. What do they feel like? I feel like I'm walking on, like, a pillow or something like that. Or, like, a bozo ball. Literally. And then it's, like, smooth, like... Oh, I love them. These are so crazy. <laughs> never, never had something like this. Ice bath, ice cold sport. Let's go, baby. Sauna, did it, done. Infrared, solid. Woo! Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Make sure you subscribe to keep updated on when the next vlog drops. And comment below and let us know what else you guys would like to see. Don't forget to send it. Ew!